Hey everybody, Rick Needham Handicapping, Thoroughbred Racing on April Fool's Day, Sunday, April the 1st, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Folks, I usually start off this report handicapping racing from the Big A Aqueduct, but due to a New York City blue law, no racing allowed in New York City on Palm Sunday. So let's go to Pimlico first race 9, 455 p.m. Eastern Post Time, eight and a half furlong route test on the dirt. Three year olds race for an optional claiming prize of some thirty-five thousand dollars. Contenders number five, Wild Lewis, number five, Charge, number three, Maybe's Master, and number two, Respectful Ed. Number five, Wild Lewis has hit the board in each of his three career starts to date, winning twice, including a power run win in his second race back. Jockey Malcolm Franklin was in his irons for those two wins en route to a positive 755% return on investment in the process. Back today for his third ride, gunning for a hat trick win. Number seven, Charge, drops in class by 12 units as the speed leader in this field, racing at or about today's distance of eight and a half furlongs on the dirt, has turned in power run performances in each of his three career starts to date, including a power run win to break his maiden in his second race back. Race 9 summary, number 5, Wild Lewis tops the contenders list today, which also includes number 7, Charge, number 3, Maybe's Master, and number 2, Respectful Ed, 5732 in the ninth from Pimlico. Go to Gulfstream Park next for race 2, 1.35 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is a 6 furlong sprint on the dirt, 4 year olds and up race for a claiming prize of some $20,500. Contenders number six, Huffin Hughes, number three, Wild Expectations, number seven, Face Card, and number nine, in spite of it. Number six, Huffin Hughes has hit the board in four of his last five with three of those efforts, including a win facing slightly better company in his fifth race back, also qualifying as power runs. Jockey Arparana Bambu and trainer Julio Cartanega send him postward this afternoon. They've hit the tote board with an impressive 73% of their entries saddled as a team to date. Number three, Wild Expectations, a 4-1 to one shot. has hit the board in three of his last five starts overall. Race two summary, number six, Huffin Hughes tops the contenders list today, which also includes number three, Wild Expectations. Number seven, Face Card, and number nine, in spite of it, 6-3. 7-9 in the second from Gulfstream Park. Bonus long shots on Sunday. Parks Racing, race three, number one, Wild Banshee, a 4-1 to one shot, the overall speed leader on this allowance field, sprinting at or about today's distance of six and one half furlongs on the dirt. Hawthorne Race Course near Chicago, race three, the five to one shot, number six, Endless Drive, a track master plus power pony qualifier is the overall speed leader in this claiming field. Comes off a maiden breaking power run win in his last start, which just was just the second race of his young career to date. So handicapping for both Pimlico and Gulfstream on April Fool's Day, Sunday, April 1st, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.